Hello everyone, welcome to this channel. As part of Azure playlist, today we are going to see how we can host a static website in Azure storage account. So before we get started, if you are watching this video without subscribing, please subscribe to this channel to get more insights on cloud DevOps tools. So let's get started. So for this demo, we are going to use two HTML files. One is index.html file. And this is the content that I have placed in index.html file. And the other file is error.html file. And this is the content that I have placed in error.html files. So before posting these two files in Azure storage account, let me open these two files in my Chrome browser, in my local machine, and see how these both files look like. So I have opened index.html file in the Chrome browser. And this is how the page looks like. If I click on Google here, it will redirect me to the google.com. And let me go back. And if I click on Facebook, it will redirect me to the Facebook login screen. And if I open error.html, so this is the content that we are going to see if you open error.html file. So now let's navigate to the Azure portal and see how we can post these two files in Azure storage account. So currently I am in the Azure portal. So let's create a storage account. So search for storage account. Click on storage accounts and click on create. So this will navigate to the place where you can create a storage account. So let me keep the subscription as it is and let me create a new resource group and uh, let me give the name as demo hyphen RG. Click on OK. And let me give the storage account name as demo SA004. Let me keep the region as it is. And let me keep the performance as standard. Since this is for demo, let me change this to locally and storage. And let's go to the advanced. Let's keep everything as it is. And in the networking section, I'm enabling the public access since we want to access the static website from everywhere. So I'm enabling the public access. Let's click on data protection. Let's keep everything as it is. Let's keep everything as it is and click on review. So the validation has been completed. So let's click on create for creating the storage account. So you can see the storage account has been created. So click on go to resource. So here you can see the overview of the storage account. And on the left hand side, if you come down, onto the containers. So you can see only one container that is available as of now that is logs. And if you come down onto the left side, you can see a static website. So click on static website under data management and enable the static website. And here you need to provide the index document name. So let me provide this as index.html since we have created our HTML file as index.html. I'm providing the same name here. And if we use any invalid endpoints, then that will be redirect to the error.html page. So I'm providing the two HTML files that we have created. One is index.html, that is the root endpoint. And if we face any errors or if we provide any invalid path while accessing or static website so it will redirect to the error.html page so let me click on save here and once you click on save it is providing the primary endpoint so let's copy this one and paste that in the new tab so so since we haven't configured so since we haven't placed any our html files in the storage account so we are getting the request website is not configured. So let's go to the containers section here and click on containers. 
So once you enable the static website, here you are going to see one more container that is created automatically. So let's click on web. And here you need to upload both the files that we have created, both index.html and error.html files. So let's click on upload. And let's click on browse for files and upload both the files. So here I have selected error.html and index.html files. Let's click on upload. So now you can see both the files have been uploaded. Now let's use the same link and see if we are able to get the response. Let me refresh this page. So now here using the storage account endpoint, we are able to get the response. So if I click on Google, it will redirect me to the google.com. And if I click on Facebook, it will be redirected to the Facebook login page. And if I give any invalid endpoint, let's say any ERR, and we are getting this response from the error.html file. Since this endpoint slash ERR is not configured, we are getting this response from the error.html page. So in this way, we can post a static website in Azure storage account and access using the primary endpoint that we got while enabling the static website. In this demo, I have created a basic index.html and error.html pages. And in your case, you can post any complex static website in Azure storage account. That's it from this video, guys. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you will get more and more videos on Cloud DevOps tools. Thank you.